Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Beam NG Drive with a very silly tournament. A very silly race. This is a transport race. The idea is pretty straightforward. Uh, each team is comprised of two vehicles, one truck and one normal car. Uh, now, the normal car is at 0 0.25 in terms of power to weight ratio. The trucks could be whatever the hell you liked. The cars must race their way on to the trucks. The trucks load the cars, they drive a lap. Then, once completed a lap, you unload the car, and the car then goes and completes a second lap. Uh, it's a knockout tournament, a 1v1. R unfortunately, Stevie was supposed to be Rusky's partner, got a lot of internet issues, so Rusky's having to do both parts themselves. It's a little bit... You'll get the idea as we go around. We are going to get this race underway here. Uh, we expect Shados maybe to be able to load the cars a little bit quicker. It's a drag race to the to the vehicles, but you've got to load your vehicle, park it up, and then... Uh, so Rusky's got to tap across to the truck here. Rusky's going before now. You were perfectly allowed to do that. Oh, oh, oh careful! The Shados' vehicle is not very well placed on there. So this is one of the theories. Uh, Rusky's actually got a very good one. So the bigger the truck, the better the op the better um, the chances of keeping the vehicle on the back is, because there's just simply more space. Speeder's vehicle barely fits on the back of that, but uh, sorry, Chados's vehicle barely fits on the back of that, but in theory that transport truck will be quicker. So, Rusky leads the way uh, with a really, really big T-Series here. That's a hell of a tight turn. That is one of the downsides with the T-Series uh, is that it's it's got it has made the corner. It has made the corner. Uh, will will Spieler be able to find a way past here? There comes the power of the... I'm not sure whether... I believe it's the H-Series, H the van. I think that's what that one there is. Um, although Rusky's got some good top speed. Once it gets going, Rusky's got some top speed. The problem with the T-Series is it's just not got the turning circle uh, around here as we head down the straight. Yeah, the, 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 the big truck has got the top end in this one. Um, maybe either that or they're having a little issue keeping the little ute on the back. Uh, that is, oh, you can actually see, it's sort of shaking and wobbling a bit. Big lock up from Rusky up ahead. Oh, <laughs> speed is locking the rears by the looks of it. Uh, now, we head through to so these sections. Uh, the big T-Series does struggle a little bit. Uh, we are heading, we've got a couple more quarters to go. A bit of acceleration zone here for the pair of them. I mean, this is actually still very close between them. Now, the dismount is going to be an interesting thing. Because if you just boot it in reverse off the back of the truck, you could break your car. Uh, now, you're not allowed to reset the cars. So how much do you slow down? How much do you unload the vehicle? Is Spieler going to have a look to the inside? Oh, that's going to be a wedge. You're just not going to get into that gap, are you? Uh, sensible idea to back out of it. It's not worth risking that. Uh, Spieler fires up. The all the turbo noise is going on, but they're not going to find a way past. It's going to be close. It's going to come down to a one lap race between uh, Rusky and Speeder. Now you're not allowed to unload your car before the finish line. You've got to have crossed the finish line before you unload it. Oh, I don't know what that bang was from the truck. They are across. Here goes Speeder. Now, how are they going? Oh, Rusky's tried to chuck the car off. Uh, neither of them have done it amazingly well, but Shados has got it dismounted much better. Uh, Shados has got it uh, has got it off the back of the truck. Rusky caught the front end uh, on that, trying to do the dismount. That is the downside of going for the really high speed dismount. On that is that you can get into you can get into some big trouble there. Uh, Shados with the lead. So yeah, maybe. I will admit it is much more difficult. It is more difficult for Rusky. Maybe the better idea would have been to stop the truck first and then dismount rather than trying to do the moving dismount. You're less likely to get caught. Uh, now, <laughs> I mean, this course, it's not the most difficult circuit in the world. Uh, but, you know, it's beam. There is always the potential for mistakes to be made. The, oh, that's a big lock up for the rally car here. So rally cars, an idea to go for uh, in terms of softer suspension, in terms of theoretically a better dismount uh, from the trailer situation. Um, so we might see some of that. Oh, Shados almost. <laughs> I mean, it would have been very funny, but they avoided the tyre bundles in all of this. We head through the final complex of corners. Just got to not do anything stupid, and it is going to be a victory for Shados. Good race. Uh, Rusky did very well trying to manage it on their own, and there's a very big slide. <laughs> Well, why not? Why not at this point? Oh, it's got a very broken rear wheel by the looks of it. And across the line. Rusky will get another chance in the Spanner final. However, a good effort led for the first part, but got stuck with the dismount and uh, just couldn't make up the time.
now for our second heat it is well me and gliska we're teamed up we are against amy and joe who have a very different they, they have to start in the pit lane because they've got a very weird setup they've got like a roof box on their sunburst and their loading so i don't know how that's going to work my vehicle as you might notice is very very unusual uh mine has got a very weird suspension setup it is for a specific reason, however. Um, this is all about trying to get it off the back of the truck as quickly as possible. Now, they might actually be able to load their vehicles a little bit quicker. If it, oh, if it works, okay, we hit that way too hard. That is for future reference. Uh, did not realize we were going to have that sort of problems. They are loading. Oh, they've not done that right. They may have to reset that. I don't know if they can fix it. Uh, no, they're taking the ramp with them. The ramp's not supposed to move. I think things have gone weird. Things have gone weird. I feel like they've broken stuff that they should not have broken. Uh, <laughs> it's not supposed to work like that. I'm going to hope that that's some desync. But that's hilarious. Uh, oh, no, Joe is actually stuck in the ramp. <laughs> How have we, it was supposed to be a silly challenge. We've somehow broken it even more than normal. Um, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Little Mazda. Little Mazda. Be careful. Uh, now, so we've got for a similar strategy to Ruskies, only we haven't got as big a truck. We've got the similar size bed, uh, but we haven't got as big a truck to do it. So we have the advantages of the vehicle having space for me to move around in uh, without the disadvantages of terrible turning. So, I mean, it's not as good a returning circle, but it's oh, what has gone on back there. I have a feeling things have broken down considerably. <laughs> I mean, their idea was always a difficult one, and it seems to have got doubly difficult because the car got stuck on the nose, the ramp came with them, none of that was supposed to happen. I have a feeling they're going to the Spanner final. I have a feeling I'm going to probably lap them in a two-lap race, um, which would be hilarious. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, something is going on over there. What? <laughs> Oh, I really want to lap them. I don't... <laughs> it's not worked. Things have gone very wrong here. <laughs> well, this is a good test round for me, at least. We have essentially got a little bit of a buy. Things I've learned. Number one, go slower. When we get... Because our car's so raked, it, uh, we lose the bumper if we hit so hard. Um... Now, we have got to get ourselves ready for the dismount. Now, we are going to go... Yeah, Gliss is going to slow it down. Uh, right. We should be able to just dismount. And it's still got a tyre. That's still a little bit too fast uh, on that one. Not ideal. I can live with a tyre going, especially at this point. Uh, I think there's just always going to be a chance that we pop a tyre in this. So, it's yeah, we're going to have to be aware of it. And look, one of the big downsides... Oh, God. One of the big downsides for my car doing this weird suspension setup that actually makes this about a lot more effective uh, makes braking terrifying. Uh, the front dives and the rear basically comes up, so it's already very high, so we have huge problems. My goal is I can I lap them? No, not quite. Not quite, unless they get into trouble. <laughs> that is... Are we... Are we, are we are all, yeah, okay. I do not want the burst. I don't want the burst rear tyre. That makes my... That makes my set up more of an issue because uh, it just makes my braking almost impossible uh, so yeah that was a, a problem area we might be able to lap we're going to be so close if I hadn't spun oh god if my brakes were working we might have been able to lap them I'm glad yeah we're going to have to be a little bit more careful with that I think uh, oh Amy has fallen off uh, I guess Amy has been deposited at this point I mean, it would be remiss of me not to do this. Uh, Joe has broken down. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it's not quite really gone to plan. <laughs> but the Mazda has done it. The Mazda takes victory. I, I mean, we, look, we made a lot of mistakes on that run. Not as many as Joe and Amy. <laughs> But we learned what not to do for future. It was a good test bed for us. Hello. Uh, so there we go. Me and Gliska are through to the semi-finals. Uh, there we go. Fantastic. Now we've changed teammates. Cool.
can't wait for it to send me a picture of Hughes at Subway, and it was full of nuns. Oh, I have a red roll cage. There what we the go. Fuck? I have red on my car. I didn't know nuns went to Subway. Joe, I will be using that line for my intro. Oh. I didn't know nuns went to Subway. <laughs> it just doesn't seem like a particularly holy food, does it? <laughs> I guess it's not. with a knife or not? Are you saying nuns don't appreciate a foot long? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh we found the second line of Amy's video. Yeah, no, I've changed no, my no. mind. That's the intro for my video. That's going in mine as well at this point. Christ, I'm recording, so. Are, are we ready? Oh, I think so. <laughs> I don't Lombard know if anyone else is, but let's go. Is, is I kind of wish I was recording now. Oh god. Oh, well. no, 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 no. <laughs> For the final of the heats, we have got Speed Beast and Longbow uh, against Shadow and Danger Man. I mean, they've gone for similar ideas with their with their recovery vehicles, with their with their trucks. Um, the loading cars are very different. Longbow's going for ground clearance in their Piccolina buggy, and Danger Man is going for outright speed in a bolide i think on rally suspension uh, so there we go they are launched they are underway as they head towards the trucks danger man has loaded it nicely and is on lombo is also uh, nicely loaded now will either of them set off before the beds speed beasts has a little bit less distance and neither of them are wanting to set off yet uh, which does kind of surprise me. Um, they are focusing on getting... I'm, so, I'm amazed nobody wanted to go for a little bit of a, a, an early head start. Shadow is gone. Speed Beast is, is getting that loaded. Uh, probably a sensible idea. You don't want to lose your vehicle, although you are losing a big chunk of time. Um, Shadow will lead the way. There goes Speed Beast and Longbow. Oh, God. It's already gone a little bit wrong. They went a bit too fast through that first corner. They're trying to hook Longbow back onto that. A good little shuffle, actually, from Speed Beast to get the Piccolina there again. Uh, here, well, Shadow is, Shadow's bed hasn't quite sat back down properly, but that's, that's maybe not the worst thing in the world. Oh, that is. That's a huge wreck. Way too fast. Way too fast. Uh, now, they're going to have to reload the truck. Uh, so they are allowed to reset the vehicles but they're gonna have to wait for the truck to come back down and get the bed of the truck back down again uh which is going to take a long time uh potentially here what has got oh no things have things went on here they're going very slow and steady i wonder if speed beast is just taking it carefully because they saw what happened they're aware of the problems that uh, that have gone on uh there is some desync going on here um <laughs> I am not entirely sure what's happening. <laughs> There's a lot of desync beam multiplayer for you. I'm going to say Danger Man is loaded on the back of that uh, for the moment. Back up at the front. Speed Beast is just slow and steady wins the race. It's honestly not the... Um, honestly not the most spectacular run, but that's... Oh dear. How have you done that? How on earth have you spun at about five... Oh, no, don't go down that way. That's a hill! You idiots! <laughs> okay, oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> I think even Amy's run might have, might have done better than stuff. Ah, uh, the longbow's still on the back there. What is going on over here? <laughs> Danger Man and Shadow are still having issues. It looks like they've finally got that one there reloaded. Um... Okay, I'll tell you what, Rusky had a really tough rap in that Rusky had a j an incredibly difficult run on their own. Everyone else has had so many issues uh, al along the way. Spieler and Shadows are going to show us up here, uh, having done a very, very good first run. Longbow is barely clinging on. Speedy's truck feels like it's got bloody ice on the rear wheels. It's got no grip in these corners whatsoever. Uh, but however, I'll tell you what, Longbow is going to have difficulties getting that. Now, it depends on the house, uh, how the how the desync is. Uh, on Longbow's end, that might not have fallen off as much. Oh, that's very sideways. That's a problem. Maybe. No, no, no. Longbow is still on. Longbow has not fallen off. So Longbow can't be sort of thrown off the um, trailer before they've crossed the line. We'd have to get back on. However, uh, Longbow is still on the trailer, so it's fine. However, will Longbow be able to actually get that off the trailer without Speed Beast having to lower it? That is the question. Will Longbow have any drive? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't really look like they're going for it either. Uh, so, they're going for a much slower dismount. 
on this, but this, it's going for safety. Uh, there we go. Lombo has got the, the, the buggy fired up. Tell you what, Shadow and Danger Man have done very, very well to get back there. Lombo is released. Uh, Shadow and Danger Man, I mean, they're going to have to put that bowline in reverse. And, oh, I mean, it's, it touch, did it touch down before the line? It might have done. It was a very, very good dismount, I will say that much. Uh, from the bowline there. Very, very efficient. Big lockup. Massive lockup from Danger Man into the hairpin braking zone. Now, Lombo's vehicle is um, probably not as quick around the course. Uh, Speedbeast and Lombo have played this one relatively, relatively safe. Now, that's not necessarily a terrible thing. Oh, Lombo has got it slowed into the hairpin. Oh, almost grip rolled it. Oh, Danger Man's made a catastrophic error. Never mind. <laughs> Survives it. <laughs> I mean, Pink Team have been just throwing everything at it here. Uh, oh, Lombo's gone very, very deep into the braking zone uh, down there. Um, I'm amazed that bowline is still in one piece, to be honest with you. Uh, and I mean, it's, it's actually got way closer than it perhaps should have done in all of this, but it looks like the green vehicles are going to be through to the next round. Slow and steady does indeed win the race. Shadow and Danger Man look like a fearsome sort of team that looks like that could be a very good combination if they don't make the same mistakes again. <laughs> well, they do have another chance, of course. It's on to the Spanner final. We head into the spanner final the winner from this will progress into the semi-final so we have rusky with well themselves shadow and danger man and joe and amy we'll see if they they can get that that combination working better uh shadow's flatbed is supposed to well uh, on danger man's end that trailer is down so it should all work we've had a whole bunch of technical issues uh, getting to this point but we are ready it is off and underway the drag racer begins as they will try and load their vehicles up uh Will they get the landing up oh, there done nicely? They do. Rusky, I don't think Rusky's making that around a lap. Uh, Rusky's vehicle looks very precariously on the back. Uh, Joe and Amy, this time they are making it around without bringing the ramp with them. Uh, Shadow and Danger Man have been a lot more careful. Now, that's not a bad idea. Uh, honestly, they're, they're, they're behind the Sunburst twins, but uh, I feel like they may be in a better position in some ways. Rusky leads. Now, I've got to bear in mind here, right? Rusky leads. Rusky's truck doesn't take this corner very easily. Uh, they've gone for a big handbrake turn. We'll just block the track. Joe and Amy can't take the corner too hard, otherwise they fall over. Shadow's gone to the inside for an overtake, and we'll make that stick. Now, in theory, the Sunburst should be one of the quicker... This is one of the lighter combination of vehicles. Oh, God, it looks very dicey, though. Uh, Rusky continues to lead. Shadow's going to be very careful around this corner now, uh, after what happened last time out, and they do make it about quite nicely. Uh, Rusky, with big lead, actually, going on at the moment, which is, uh, you know, helpful. They've got to make sure that vehicle doesn't fall off the back. Uh, that it looks precarious, but it is still there. Big lock up from that. Uh, Shadow and Danger Man continue to follow. Joe and Amy's little sunburst duo is working. Uh, so far, they are still all. Everyone has still got their vehicles on their trailers. It's, it is a proper transport race. Rusky's car looks like it's gone through. Uh, don't worry, the little the little desyncing stuff is going to happen. Will Shadow be able to find a way past? Will Shadow want to go for a way past though? That's the question. Do you risk it? Because if there's a crash and you break your vehicles or damage something... Uh, oh. Now, has that fa has fallen off? Oh, it's fallen off. And as Rusky went to try and stop, they've got stuck with Shadow. That is going to allow Amy and Joe to catch up. Rusky's had to ditch the... Oh, I think Rusky might be in trouble uh, in all of this. I don't quite know why they managed to get themselves stuck. They have got... <laughs> Shadow and Danger Man have got stuck slightly. Oh, I think they've clipped... Have they clipped... They've clipped into the bumper of Rusky. Yeah, Rusky's had to reset. So as they went past, they got clipped into the front bumper of Rusky's truck. And I guess they dragged it along. Uh, so <laughs> amazingly, after all of... I don't know if Rusky's ever getting that car. I think I have to node grab that car off the fence. Uh, amazingly, after all of this, the sunbursts might actually lead the first lap. It's going to come down to can Danger Man chase down the sunburst. I do feel like Danger Man's still got a pretty good shout here. Uh, right, so they've got to go. Oh, and they launch the sunburst. Good launch. Well done. Amy is released. Uh, now they've got to... Oh, 
unhook the bowline, which they have done. It's a good changeover for both of the, the leading teams. Uh, so, Sunburst, big lead, but got to bear in mind here, really not, oh god, really not a track car here, as Amy chucks it through the hairpin. It's elegantly done, but it's not quick. Let's, let's put it like that. Danger Man is now closing in. This is the battle. Oh, Amy's going for the chuck it sideways approach. It is very sideways, and there's going to be a crack. Danger Man saw it coming. Good, good driving from the bolide right there. Saw the danger, got on the brakes, did not want to get tangled. So the sunburst on some big off-road tyres. Uh, Rusky is not still loading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate going on there. Oh, Amy's going right into a left-hander, but has got it turned. Uh, I'm going to guess the tyres on that sunburst don't really give it much grip. It doesn't look like they're slicks, so they're just going for send it sideways and get it around the corner. It's not going to compete with the bolide here. Danger Man, all they have to do is nothing stupid and make it to the finish line. Don't break down. They don't know what damage might have been sustained jumping off the trailer. Uh, in all of that, bad things can happen. Old Rusky's had a no. Rusky's made a roadblock as we head around the final couple of corners. Uh, Amy is still going very, very sideways there. Uh, however, Danger Man is going to round that final corner. It's going to go. It's going to go the way of the pink team. Danger Man will win and move into the semi-finals. I feel like that was probably deserved. Well done to Joe and Amy for for getting that around. Uh, it was an it was an exquisite dismount as they crossed the line, but at the end of the day the sunburst on the top just did not have the pace around the circuit to be able to do that rusky unlucky that, you know that is very very difficult <laughs> very difficult to try to do it on your own and they did incredibly well in their heat unfortunately spanner final did not go their way and uh, there we go right on to the semi-finals the first of our semi-finals is on the grid. We have Shadow and Danger Man against Spieler and Shados. We've got the two Shadows going on. We're going to get very confused. Uh, admi admittedly, at least they're in different parts of the race, if you will. Uh, I'm not sure what way this is this is going to go. I think both of these both of these teams are pretty fast. Uh, I think the Bolide may be a slightly quicker vehicle. Oh, <laughs> it's very swift on the. Uh, parking. Oh, speed has gone too soon. Oh, they've just about got, they've not done that very well. Oh, it's gone, it's gone terribly wrong. It's gone terribly wrong. They were too eager. They were too eager to go uh, on that. That's why you've got to be so careful. Um, now speed is going to have to reset, lower the ramp. Shadow and Danger Man are off into the distance. Shados is on the back of that. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you, uh, you, oh, God. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep smashing into the back of the of the flatbed and it'll bounce you off of, well it's not the best it's not the best mounting that's ever taken place but there we go uh right it's gone quite well it looks like shadow and danger man i mean they are actually taking it quite carefully uh, at this point not all yeah i think they take, might be taking a bit carefully i'm not sure danger man is very well on the back of that uh spieler and, and shadows are just going to send it at this point is it you've got not you haven't got much to lose here um having had such a poor start oh, well apparently the brakes yet yeah, you do need to get stops for the corner that is important um oh, you don't want to hit the wall particularly they will go set off down the straight here so yeah danger man's vehicle is a little bit to the side it's not much, and of course, Decent can play a little bit of a part. It's not the end of the world if the vehicle slides off the side, but you definitely don't want it to be doing that. Uh, you can use the corners to shuffle it back onto the vehicle a little bit, uh, if you are lucky. Oh, that's looks, that look, that's starting to look quite precarious on the back there. We'll see how that goes. Meanwhile... The other pairing, Shavos's vehicle is quite well is quite well set up there. Uh, this. The, the theory of using the, the smaller, potentially faster truck is a solid one. Oh, God. Don't want to hit those Don't want to hit those sausage curbs. They do mean things. You can see a little bit of bouncing around going on. Uh, Danger Man and Shadow, still okay. Now, Danger Man is maybe not going to be able to do the quick dismount from there. Uh, no, it's just got the rear wheel on the back of that. That's not too, that's not too bad. Uh, Spieler is continuing to transport... Uh, Shados' vehicle around. They are through the hairpin over there quite nicely. Now, are they getting ready for the dismount? Will we see another expert dismount? Will we see a broken car? Uh, I do not know here as they are going to... Well, that is 
too early or a dismount. That was way too soon. They were they were off the back of that miles too soon. You've got to be across the line before you come off of it. Um, there may be a little bit of a disqualification on that one. Um, that was that was well early. That was well early on the dismount. There was no need for it either. Um, unless. Well, yeah, the car... The, I don't even think the truck was across the line at that point. Um, which is... Not not really quite what was supposed to happen on on that one. The trucks have come to a rest. It was actually... I will say, it was a good... It was a good dismount from... Uh, from... From Shados in... In that. They got that... They got that vehicle off of there quite well. Big locker. It's a big braking zone down there that we see with these cars getting into a spot of bother. Uh, Deja Man's also had an immense lock up uh, into the into the braking zone as we head through these next couple of corners. Uh, Shados has gone very, very deep under brakes uh, through there as well. I mean, they're, go they're both going to... Um, head through these final couple of corners there will have to be some discussion amongst the stewards uh after that one Spieler went to go and crash <laughs> did not <laughs> did not quite get there in time there will be some debate however danger man is across the line first uh, oh and off goes shadows goodbye <laughs> i forgot about the gravity settings and gone shadow did the lap with an abric that would explain some stuff but uh well, there we go. Yes, we will have to go to the stewards on that one. I am in the second of the semi-finals. We are up against Longbow and Speed Beast. Uh, not quite sure what's going to happen in this one, to be honest with you. I think I know what I need to do for our team. I think I know what we need to do to try and get a better run for us. Um, Speed Beast, we don't quite know what broke in Speed Beast's truck, but something went wrong, which is why it was oversteering all over the place. Now, I've got to not get carried away trying to race Longbow into the... Uh, into the back of that. Right, we are off. Gliska is being brave and going for it. Uh don't like the whole moving about and all of that, but we are loaded on the back of the truck. Uh, everything is fine. Everything is good. Uh, oh, God, we are... Yeah, this has done a very good job of getting that loaded. We have slid back a little bit, maybe? Uh, it's not too bad, though. It's not too bad. I think this has been a very efficient start. We didn't smash our nose up this time. Uh, climbing on the back. Speed Beast and Longbow are going for the carefully, carefully does it approach. It worked for them last time. Have they fallen off? Are they separated? Oh, careful, Gliska. That's maybe a little bit fast through there. I think they've had issues. They have. They've fallen off on the first, the first sort of lap. Uh, I'm a little bit close to the edge on the left-hand side. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're not going Look, it's not our fault. Me and Gliska are perfecting our little strategy here. And it's not our fault if others are making mistakes along the way here. Oi. <laughs> Actually, it's good. If we shuffle to the left slightly through the first section, it's all right. Because these corners will shuffle us across to the right-hand side. But again, we get a good test of our... Of our systems going towards the final here. Uh, Lombo and Speedbeast have got going again uh, in all of this. Um... I can. I, my wheels are not the same. My wheels are very different. My my car is an absolute mess of a vehicle. But if it, if it works for this, oh, maybe that's a little bit heavy cornering. Maybe a little bit heavy cornering. It's fine. We're still on. We're trying. So we're going for a little bit slower this time around on the dismount. Last time I think we got a little bit too fast when we got off the truck and hit the ground. I think it's because my wheels are spinning in reverse. We're hitting with some force and all that combination of things are uh, what cause issues when we go for the dismount. Uh, right, here we go. Gliska is just going to go slowly. We've got to wait uh, for the... Whoa. Can we go... Whoa. Okay, not the best dismount I've ever done, but we get off the vehicle without damaging ourselves. Uh, yeah, that worked. That worked. That worked nicely. That worked better. I've got a full accompaniment of tyres this time to drive the weirdest little Mazda you've ever seen. Wee, and there we go. We're into the braking zone. I mean, I'm still trying to lap someone. I don't think if Longbow and Speed Beast have got that back connected again, I don't think I'm going to be able to lap them. Whoa, big switch. Very big switch for us there. Uh, have they fallen off again? Oh, come on. If we managed to lap them and we didn't lap Amy and Joe, 
that would be quite funny. Hey. Now, it is the sketchiest thing under brakes. No ABS, of course. No ABS on this. And the the back wiggling around in the air. Uh, it is a, a terrifying thing. Oh. Uh, hey. What's, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I might get crashed into if I do that too much. <laughs> oh, there's, there's, something's gone wrong. Ah! <laughs> I probably deserve that. <laughs> ah! Uh, well, yeah, I did, I did, oh. Oh no, my wheel's fine. My wheel's fine. <laughs> uh, go! <laughs> Things have gone very badly wrong for Longbow and Speed Beast. <laughs> uh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. My car's a little bit broke, a little bit more broken now, if I'm honest with you. Uh, we are going to. <laughs> we are going to. <laughs> Amy's unhappy. Look, we didn't do anything wrong. Not our fault. They've had terrible rounds. Uh, we have completed the race. Uh, up until we decided to uh, toy with the uh, with with the opponents, things were going pretty well. Yeah, dismount didn't quite get the dismount right, but not bad, not bad in the grand scheme of things. We will move on to the final. I don't know what on earth went on. Longbow and Speedbeast just had a terrible time of it. Um, well, there we go. We will head into the final. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a good competition. So, we move on to the final. Now, <laughs> Danger Man was given a penalty for the uh, early dismount from the truck, and they were to start uh, the final sausage curb. It was then decided the stewards, uh, my unsportsmanlike behaviour of showboating and doing a donut in front of stricken opponents, also uh, was worthy of a penalty. So, I am um, also demoted to back here. Uh, it's very silly. Uh, but, so yeah, we, <laughs> we're ready for the final. I think. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. I, Danger Man's car is a better car in terms of a race car. Uh, mine mine and Gliska's setup for the start, I think, is a little bit more efficient. Or oh, Danger Man's actually had a big spin. So I think our, our system here for the start is better, potentially. Uh, is Gliska not in gear? Oh, there we go. Yeah, our setup here is a little bit more efficient. Uh, Gliska's had some issues. Not as wasn't as quick this time as the previous one, which is okay. We have still got the lead, which is what matters here. Uh, we got a decent lead against Shadow and Danger Man. Uh, we will. I mean, the, the trick at this point is just let's not do anything silly. Shadow and Danger Man have, have got going. Will Shadow push too hard trying to catch up? And this is one of the things that's very easy to do: trying to catch the car ahead, pushing too hard. Whoa, where the hell are they gone? Uh, deep into the braking zone is where they have gone in that one. Um, now, I bet they will be faster in a straight line than we are. That would be expected. They are in a smaller and lighter uh, transport truck. But they've got to be a bit more careful. Danger Man's more likely to fall off the back of it. I think this truck, I think, is the way to go. You've got so much... You're still good enough to get around the corners. You've just got so much more wiggle room for error. I would like a bigger lead, though, against that bolide. My, my Mazda is very dicey to drive. Oh, yeah, maybe don't handbrake it too much. That's a little sketchy. Uh, avoid the sausage curves on the inside. That can cause issues. Uh, we are through there quite nicely. We've not got a particularly big uh, margin here. Now, will they try and find an overtake? That is a very, very good question. Will they look for a way past? I don't think they will. I don't think they're going to want to try and find a way past. Uh, it'd be very difficult to do it here. And, oh, God. You run a really big risk of getting into trouble. Or oh, Gliska's playing a little bit dangerous with the curves. We're fine. Now, it's, it's going to come down to me with a very difficult to drive Mazda against Danger Man, who I think does have the better car slightly. I think there may have been a bump on us through there. Uh, possibly. Now... We are going to have to get this dismount correct. I cannot afford to have a popped tyre here. Uh, right, Gliska, slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it down. Uh, why have we not got... I don't know why it didn't go. It just didn't go. It just didn't... It didn't want to go backwards. We've fallen off the side. Danger Man fell off the side as well. Uh, I don't know why that did... Neither of us had a good dismount in that one whatsoever, uh, which is frustrating, to say the least. Uh, oh... 
Way we bunny hop under brakes. Although Danger Man's car also isn't great under brakes. So there may be a chance. This is actually going to be quite a legitimately close race here between us. Uh, my handling is questionable. We haven't burst a tyre at this one. Big braking zone is coming up here. This is going to be a seriously important braking zone for both of us. Uh, oh, Danger Man's binned it! Danger Man has spun in the braking zone, and the crazy Mazda didn't. We kept the Mazda together under brakes. So Danger Man's also on the rally suspension, and I think that's what might have got Danger Man's bolide in trouble. Uh, now, we've just got to get it slowed down in time. So what you see me struggling with here, it's possible, to be fair, that, that in the dismount from the truck, Danger Man... In fact, you can see I've got damage on my rear... One of my rear wheels is not quite right. In that falling off of the side, uh, oy, something has broken a little bit in the back of mine. Uh, however, we are going to round... Danger Man has cheated! Danger Man has cheated across the line! <laughs> <laughs> Danger Man's taking a shortcut. Now, that's definitely a disqualification. <laughs> uh, almost. Almost beat Danger Man even with the shortcut. Oh, what a race. That was unlucky. But we both had to push it. Danger Man had to push it because my car was very good in the slow sections. Um... Yeah, we both had issues getting off the truck. Don't know why mine wouldn't get into, wouldn't get going quite how I wanted it to. It just had no traction at all. Um, but there we go. Uh, <laughs> what a what a race! This is a lot of fun. It went a lot sillier than I expected, and I expected it to be silly. Um, however. Uh, yeah, that was that was an awful, awful lot of fun. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, as much as we have in in doing it. I will put links to some of the mods uh, in the description if you want to go and have a go. Some of the mods, if I remember, if I can find them all uh, in the description, if you want to have a go with them. I can't recommend this Mazda enough. It's brilliant. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a uh, goodbye.